All right, let's look at the NN19 sampler first, since that's the first one that we're gonna dive into when we look at all the details of how to use it as a sampler. So let's use it as a kind of outline for looking at the four main elements that we'll find in just about any sampler. So again, if you saw my synthesis class, this will be really familiar to you, but I'm just gonna highlight what they are here. What we're looking at here is the four key elements that you'll find in just about everything. Everything else that isn't highlighted is important, but is often unique to that particular device. But these main things that we're seeing here can be found in just about every sampler that you look at. So right when you walk up to one and you want to make some noise on it, you find these four things and then you're in business. You can make some sounds. And you'll be able to craft some pretty interesting sounds just using these four things. So here's what they are. So at the top here, we have what we would call in synthesis, the oscillator section. And in this particular synth, it also kind of calls it the oscillator section. This I would call the sample section, but it labels over here the oscillator section. But these two sections are working together in tandem. So I'm gonna call them all the sample section here, even though it says oscillator up here. So this just holds our samples and it also holds our zones. We're gonna talk more about zones very shortly, but this is where all of that information lives. What file is being used where? You can see here, this is the name of the file that is being used when we play these notes. This stuff over here really just regulates our tuning. So we have the octave, the semitone, the fine tune, and where to start in the sample, meaning start at the very beginning of the sample or chop off the beginning by pushing this up. So if I play a note, we can adjust the octave of that sample. We can adjust the semitone. And we can adjust the fine tuning if we want to pull it out of tune. Just like we would with an oscillator if we were just doing normal synthesis without a sample. So that's the sample section. The next thing is the filter section. That would be down here. So here we have a filter. We have a cutoff frequency and a resonance amount. We also have an envelope attached to this filter. And the envelope is the third thing, is the envelope sections. In this particular layout, we have an envelope here applied to the filter, and we have an envelope here applied to the amplifier, which is the fourth thing, is the amplifier. So to go over those again really quick, we have the sample section, we have the filter section, we have the envelopes, which we have two of here, and the amplifier. Those are our four sections. You'll be able to find them in just about every synthesizer. So with that, let's dive into working with the NN19, and we'll look at how to use those four things in detail, as well as eventually how to use some of the bells and whistles in the NN19 to make some of your own sounds.